This is Richard Silverstein from Tikkun Olam with another story for social uh, TV. Even in the midst of the national security state obsessed with secrecy, you can't button down every secret. Israeli Likud former MK Carmel Shama HaKohen inadvertently exposed the existence of a top secret military intelligence unit. It's so hush hush, it's never even been named before inside Israel or outside in the foreign media. Until this report right here, no one knew precisely what it did. Shama HaKohen reveals in his Knesset website that he worked in Amman. He served there in a group that was called the Special Unit for Counter Espionage and Special Investigations. In Hebrew, Hayechida HaMiyuchedet L'Sikul Rigul V'Chakirod Miyuchadot. As is usual for Israeli spookery, this is spy lingo that euphemizes the real nature of what the group did. Special investigations means it engaged in, among other things, foreign assassinations. Until now, no one has ever reported that this Amman group engaged in such operations outside Israel. Though Sayyad Matkal, another Amman unit, is known to have done so. But an authoritative Israeli source confirmed to me that this is the case. When I asked whether operations abroad meant only in frontline states like Lebanon and Syria, where Israel has been known to engage in assassinations, or whether it reached as far as Iran, my source hinted that this was the case, though we refused to confirm it explicitly. The unit presumably also engages in counter-spy operations against Hezbollah, Iran, and other enemy intelligence services. The sort of operations they might be involved in would be the capture of alleged Iranian agents in Kenya and Thailand, which has happened in the past year. Returning to former MK Shamaha Cohen, this was an astonishing lapse on his part. It would be as if G. Gordon Liddy, Liddy announced before Watergate was exposed that he was a member of the White House Plumbers on his personal website. It's also extraordinary the military censor didn't discover this major security breach. It goes to show you that information simply wants to be free. All attempts to suppress it will fail. If not now, then eventually the truth will go free. Veterans of this unit have described themselves as men who never existed, with no past and no future. They live completely in the shadows and cannot tell their wives or children what they do. Their activities have come more out into the open recently due to an acrimonious dispute between them and the Defense Ministry. Though much of the dispute is shrouded in secrecy, the veterans demanded that the Ministry honor a clause in their contracts that demanded a budgetary outlay of some sort. Their lawyer noted that the dispute had something to do with the health conditions that resulted from their service. The Treasury Ministry balked at the expense claiming that the original agreement with the Amman personnel was illegal. To publicize their plight, they hired an attorney and organized protests outside the Kirviya. Since they weren't allowed to show their faces in public, they dramatized their story by hiring models in bikinis to hold signs, protest signs. On another occasion, they hired six superheroes to carry placards demanding that Bibi and Barak honor their promises. Their final stunt involved having an all-terrain vehicle circle the home of the Director General of the Defense Ministry. This last act was so frowned upon that the offender was hauled in for questioning and warned the security services would pull a vanunu on him. Being made from the same mold as his investigators, as his interrogators, the man understood precisely the threat that was made against him. All I can say is that the button-down ways of Israeli intelligence past are slowly breaking down. Back then, such spooks would never have broken ranks, and perhaps past governments wouldn't have dared betray them as this one has. After all, loyalty ain't what it used to be. This is Richard Silverstein of Tikkun Olam. Thanks a lot.